Forever Construction and Consultancy Limited. Say the Domenia and Sasia, here come what's them to in Chenia. Obi, a wo a crampa, a wo kaswa wudumbura nkwenye mu. From Kaf University, kwa hoye bese, 15 minutes drive will be paid. Afei, Dodowa Hills, bear 10 minutes drive be to Government Hospital. And now, Ebri in Sawam Road, Obodan, 10 minutes drive from Sawam Government Hospital towards Ebri. Say, a litigation free land. Asasia yen tu swanya. Asasia, a year registered. Asasia in Sio, light, and ya kwam papa wadia. A year forever construction. 0501518347. And a 0509999. 99828 Forever Construction Asasia Asimbie ni Ya sorry on pa July 13 2022 afiemu eh around 910 yante eh asempa eh uh, hone it is eh ya legend her life musician AB Crenton let me say onyan baby ko it was it was a sad day for the whole country, and uh, the lovers of AB Crenshaw. Now, at this end, in Basso, as I first remember, I said, I wish I for a bit in common. So, today I have AB Crenshaw Jr., who happens to be the fourth child of the late AB Crenshaw. Ah, I'm going a bit in common. I'm going to be extensive. So, don't go anywhere. I'll be back. I'll be back. Now, I'm going to be a bit in common. I'm going to be a bit in common. My name is Ian Felix. I'm Ian Felix TV. Ejuma is an online platform that connects people to the professionals they need on demand. We offer our services in Ghana and allow you to get your projects done professionally and on time by skilled personnel at the touch of a button. From creative freelancers and fitness coaches to gardeners, house cleaners, website designers, electricians, beauticians and more. Available on our platform. The professionals you need are just a single search away. We aim to create a digital ecosystem that simplifies your hands for quality services while giving service providers chances to drive more sales. For more information, visit us at www.edrumaonline.com. So it was a Wednesday, and I sat in a tour of my Ghana and in a Anche, the Bekwana Chikra, somewhere in August, and I want to celebrate the Echo, so and I wish I for Ashi did it. Send me pay dates. No, na also watch me. Send me with me. Abebo, ama yeti me akwa na chikra in the coming days. Within again is our flesh. Junior, ah, you may hold your Ah, yeah, that's it. What you want to say? I do. Ni ashe ye. Junior, a fourth child of Ibe Kwenzo. Munya munya say. Oh, yeah, nine. Oh, okay. In number. Oh, okay. Uh, Emma say na Emma say. Oh, Emma uh, four. Okay. And the rest of my Okay, my five. Okay. Uh, last born, how many years? Oh, last born, be 34. And my father, what you Oh, you went there. Now, first one, how many years? First one, be 56. So, mm, 56. Okay. Now, before we go to the issue, I'm going to be about Junior. Uh, but Junior, where were you there? Oh, Junior. Junior, uh, um, a brand TV, I mean, I didn't say I'd be cancelled. Okay. Years ago, na me accountant. Okay. Na I'm so a minister. Okay. I mean gospel minister. Okay. Oh, um, I fellowship with Action Chapel. Okay. Gospel minister, as in minister uh, in, in music, music or in music pa pastoral. Yeah. Okay. In music. In music, but not pastoral yeah. job. Yeah. Towards pastoral. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, me tis e from Ibi Clinton Junior. I was like, you are not the first son. So why did you that mostly? I mean, who are the first son? Not that one. So why fourth child now, or when the elderly is, is, is a son? No, or no, or they what one? Ah, well, I heard the dad and nan or she said, "Adi, you know, sebi media me buy ya or friend me say junior Alfred Benjamin Kuku Krenzo." Okay. But one person also so. Oh, and they are in same pi. Okay. You know, young young come be Okay. How was he as a father? Oh, very loving. Father, I would say he he's a man that um, we've grown to love him, and we if we want to talk about him, we, we, we will not end. He's he's so nice, and he would always want to have his children all around him. Mm. And then he's a man that he's also sold to the world. I mean, he's all over, 
basically that's what i would say about him yeah oh, okay um what are some of the things that you learned from him uh was growing up oh that one is um his music you know i over the years i would want to be a musician but he would tell you that listen it's not easy to become a musician so you would have to just concentrate on your other professions like um your accounting stuff you're doing so um he did not encourage any of his children basically yes yes to 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 become a musician i mean say so any easy exactly so how's any easy how was he explaining that he was trying to let us know say um you see those days um he was like towing this profession as um electrician so he was an electrician you know when he was growing up after school and all that but his father wanted him to still be a, a, an electrician but he decided after a while to become a musician and he didn't have it easy with his father mm. you know because those days i say yes we born you man now we a musician we Vagabond, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, umbo brapa and those things. So, nani papa mpe inti no. O mani humse so be ya dia and the nyadi ya sebi o be o be friend in the babu. So, oh yes, but at the point the grand o two fifty ni adi all because of um, he left the um, the profession as electrician and then tore the music line and. Um, it wasn't easy for him, and then he said, when he entered, he realized that it was, it was a difficult task. You know, there are so many things that he came across. But um, so did your grandfather go by his word, his words, and eventually disown him or no, 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 no. After a while, he became. I mean, they became the best friends. You know, after it was, it was for a while. But later, it was so good that. When his first album came out, mm -hmm. and his dad, according to him, had his song, you know, and said, "Hey, Kwesi, we come and match we," and then he was so excited that his uh, his son has made it, you know, and then they became a very good, good friends before mm -hmm. he passed. His dad passed. Yes. Okay, so, so he 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 told you all these stories. Nokacha was like, "Anya easy." So why did Junior still wanted to be a musician, and you are still pursuing it? Oh. You see, um, if God has blessed you with a gift, it doesn't matter what you do, you end up towing that line. You see, after all that, I realized that I could also, you know, exhibit the gift that God has given me. And I realized that the Lord is really using me in another area. Okay. Yeah. Um, growing up, I mean, listening to his songs, I was in the University of I mean, as a son, how were you taking some of his songs, especially those ones now? Na emun sem niye something which is then. Oh, I need a a pen for some something. We can't be brave. That that has a way of composing his songs. Everything that he he, he goes through, he try to come out with the song, you know. With and then uh, uh, some are heavy, which we will leave it to him <laughs> to explain. But others, if if you listen to both of his songs, it's it's, 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 it's a type that um, admonishes all of us. Some will make you laugh, some will entertain you, some will make you think a lot. So he's such an amazing composer and you can't actually explain much. Mm. He would be able to explain much how he gets his words and all that. And how did his career um, have an impact on, on yours? Oh, it was like um you see when when god has allowed you to come out with that which he has endowed you you will you will he, he was my mentor okay so i would want to listen to him every day and by listening to him it had a great impact on me yes and i had to tow a different line and you know based on what i suffered over the years um i remember i was sick i had an attack in the classroom when i finished writing my examination and i was presenting my papers to the invigilator 
and I couldn't walk again. I was just crippled. So they had to rush me to the house. They brought me to the house crying and all that. So when I came home, um, they thought I've gone to play football because I used to play football. I was a very active guy in those days. So um, they, they realized that the pain was, was, was intense. And the next morning, my dad saw that, no, this is not a normal um, pain. It's, it's quite in, intensive. So they rushed me to the hospital. Right at the hospital, to the x-ray room after the x-ray they rushed me to the theater and I had my first surgery you know and right from there it's been surgery upon surgery I was sick for about six years so, yes yeah, six solid years believing God to rise up again and um, along the line uh, my dad had to come up with this story that let's go and try this physician let's go here and just say Odimichi Bibri Bibri, Eko, Hinfa, Achime Usa, Eko, mean to mean kind. Now, Bibi, I know the Nasa Mokan is a Adama Konfu, Konfu Wakutira Betri, my Yarfu, no matter. You know, so she was just trying all means to, you know, have me back on my feet. Okay, and along the line, he composed, You devil go away from me so, yeah yeah because wherever we went <laughs> we were told that uh, uh, but um uh, along the line and i started walking again you know i realized that when i accepted jesus christ as my lord and personal savior then i realized that um, i left the walking stick left the wheelchair left the crutches everything and then um, I realized I could walk again. Okay, it's a born only because of you. Yes, oh, yes, so. yes, but because of me. You know. That's nice. I remember, not only that one, I remember after um, a while, he was just encouraging me. He was just um, trying to let me feel that, listen, I'm not the only person that I've gone through this. You know, people have worse situations. And on the board, we will be baby and Simon. Yeah, you know, oh. and he was trying to encourage me that listen, it is well. We'll be glad in sun and nine crown and auntie. And I said, I'm a doom. What's the reason why I don't be? You know, so he always wants to compose with that which he goes through. Yeah. That which is around him. Oh, okay. You know, okay. and his experiences, he went to um, abroad and he was talking about those that have kept too long there that must come home. Oh, yeah. Yes, Papa Samu. <laughs> and you know, you know the story. Yeah, I know yes. the story. So by that he was able to compose oh, okay. those songs. He went to Boliga and you know, he saw the way they they live. He composed Atia. You know. So if I want to go on, I can Long go story. on. So, so, had it not been the attack, would you have also gone the lane of daddy? Oh like, sure. Secular. It's possible. So, um, it's possible because I used to do some of his songs no. those days when I was growing up, you know. We mm -hmm. all love to do what he does mm -hmm. so at a point it's like we were towing his line but i realized that after my attack the lord personally um had an encounter and you know i just decided to you know be with god how did he take it also huh it's been amazing i, I mean, mean how did he take it like, he, oh no no he was he was he was okay okay Oh, he was okay. You mean daddy? He was, yeah. he was, he was just fine. He would want to, you know, he started with gospel, yeah. you know, and at, at a point he switched to the secular, but he didn't have any problem with me at all. He encouraged me. He would make sure that you do the right thing at every point in time. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. okay. I'm here with Abri Krenzel Jr., who happens to be the fourth child of the legendary Abri Krenzel. Um, let's go to him. July 13, 2022, what do you remember on that day? Wow. What I remember was that we had, we had visited him at the hospital and um, we prayed for him, believing God that he will be fine. You know, um, the whole issue was like, I'd had my birthday, 
you know, and he was fit. He was just strong. He played. He, in fact, he requested a particular band to be there. Yeah, the Seps band. So they came and he played. I launched my, my single that day. Okay. Yes. And then my gospel single. And he played. After that, the 10, 12 days after that. And then he told us he would be traveling. So um, he went to the U.S. Embassy with his bandsmen, you know, securing a visa to travel. He had his visa, but he has to... Secure for the bandsmen. Yes, for the bandsmen. And um, at the point, I was told that he was a bit tired, you know, so he requested for a chair. And the chair did not come on time or something. And then he slipped. And uh, right there, he was rushed to the hospital. That was, that was the... Um, um, 2nd June, you know, so um, uh, there's a hospital behind the American Embassy called Akai Hospital and he was attended to and after a while they saw his condition was quite critical so they sent him to the bank hospital and then I had a call and I visited him and he was struggling, you know, believing God that he would be okay. We were all praying, and he went into coma for a while, about two weeks, yes. And then he came back. We could see him. Um, his eyes were opened, but he couldn't really... Uh, his speech was slow, you know. So the doctors were saying that his BP was a bit high, you know, and they were trying to stabilize his BP. So he's been... Uh, it was very tough for him. And then on that 13th that you requested, we had visited him when we came back. Um, we came, we left there around 10, 10 to 11. We were with him all night, almost, almost 11. So when we go home, at around 5 a.m., we had a call that, uh, from a friend that our dad has passed. We said, no, 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 we met him. We, 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 he's not well, but he's, he's, he's not passed. And we drove to the, to the hospital that dawn, you know. And uh, calls started coming in the morning. It was, it was all over. We had to put our phones off, you know, because it was too much. And then when we got there, we saw a lot of people over there at the hospital, the bank hospital, in Cantonment. And we suspected that um, dad has gone to be with the Lord. But we needed to see the very doctor that is in charge of him. So we met him and then he confirmed it. So it was, it was an experience that I don't think we can forget. I was with my brother and we drove to the hospital. You know, the, we asked the authorities that how come um, our dad is in a private hospital and um, if such a thing has happened, it's all over before the family would, would, would get to know. And it didn't, it didn't go well with us at all. So we spoke to them and they told us they would have a meeting and let us know what actually happened. You know, how the news got to the public before us. And they were, they were, they were not too happy that it came out before we got to know the family members. After a series of investigation, you know, it came up that um, they can't, I mean, find- Who put, exactly, exactly- Give the information out. Gave the information out, that's right. And they apologized, they, they said, we are in Africa, I mean, what can you do? So now they asked us to go and see our dad and we went to see him and that was the day that uh, we didn't hear from our father again, and it was it was painful experience. Uh, I now understand when people say that, oh, I've lost my dad, I've lost my mom. The, what they go through is, is serious. Uh, it was not easy because we were so, so close, so close with him, so close. Mm -hmm. But we trust God. Yes, he said, I mean, so we just want to accept the situation and know that it is his time to be with his maker. So from your, 
from your narration, does it mean he never returned home after he went for the visa? He went for the visa application. No, 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 no. From second June to thirteenth July. No, no. A little over a month. Yeah. Oh, about six weeks. No. No. We never saw him home. But on the hospital bed. The hospital well, bed. What did doctor see was the cause? Oh, it has to do with his BP. You mm -hmm. know, yes. Basically, it was his blood pressure that mm -hmm. was not managed well. And, you know, mm -hmm. it took him by surprise. But, but for, for the blood pressure, was he going through any problems for the pressure to be going up? Oh, no. No. Um, I would say he has had an attack for about two or three occasions. Serious ones, yes. So for me, I knew he would be okay. Honestly, I knew he would be okay. And um, surprisingly, each time it comes up, I'm just around him because I live with him here in Ghana. And doctors will try their best and he'll be okay. He'll be okay if he had this for, for quite some time now. Mm, okay. Yes, for quite some time. But this time around, um, the Lord himself did his own thing. Um, did it get to a point, I mean, where maybe the family advised that he, he should stop performance and just be home, home and relax? Oh, it came up. It came up several times. But dad would always tell you that, listen, um, you can't stop me from, from performing. I mean, it is, it is those that who, who go and carry cement and, and blocks that can't, can't work. But yeah. for music, so long as he's got his throat yeah. and his voice, he will be able to, you know, perform. But at a point, you could see him in his swivel chair, yeah. you know, and he was, he was okay. In fact, my birthday, he played. He played. He was so fit. He was, he was just well, okay? And this blood pressure issue, you wouldn't know when, you know, it will go up and bring problems to you. And he took his medication. He was just fine. He was just fine. So it was actually a shock to the whole family. Yes, it was mm. a shock to the whole family. Following the demise, I mean, how, how did the industry um, help? How have they been helping? Oh, it's, it's amazing. They've been there. They've, they've been with us from the time he was hospitalized. Um, they came around. I mean, few people came around. The acting president of Musica was there. Bessa. Yeah, Bessa Simmons was around. Um, and then um, Smart and Cancer also came around. Few people came around. Mm. And we were trusting God that we will have him back. But, I mean... They've, they've been there, they've helped. Okay. They've helped. Okay. Then, what was the celebration? Yeah. How did it go? Oh, by the grace of God, it went well. It went well. We ensured that his, his brand was, was observed. You know, we had good um, music for him. Few musicians came, and sympathizers also were around. We are trusting God that. The funeral, they will also come around. Mm. Yes. Did you see any of the young ones? I mean, other one week celebration? Oh no, not not really. No, and uh, I'm shocked actually that they are not participating because I think music and um, a legend, A. B. Crentel is for all. I mean, not only the aged people, and it's for both young and old. So I'm expecting that maybe his funeral, they will, they will, they will, they will show up. Mm. They will but show up. Has, has any of them, I mean, paid a courtesy call on the family? Has any of them visited the family too, I mean? Oh, not to the best of my knowledge. Yes, okay. not to the, but we've had few of the old ones around, mm. yes. Before his, before his demise, were there any wishes from him that maybe if, if I pass on, there should be a state bearer for me, um, he says to do this for me or this and that and that. Oh, I don't think um, that came up. Yes, I don't think it came up because he would say that, listen, he's for the nation, he's for the family. 
So, and it's for his children. Anything that happens, we should just observe it in a way that it will be comfortable for everybody. If the nation would want to come in, the family is ready to receive whatever assistance they want to give. We wrote to them, we've written to the, to the president, we've written th through the chief of staff, okay? And then music I also wrote to the, the president and that's for the nation. We've done what is expected of us, okay? Even the funeral we have written to them, we've notified them. So any support they would want to give, the family is ready to receive. But we would want to, the family would want to um, just stick to that which is expected of the family. Okay, we are supposed to bury him and we've done, we're trying, trusting God that we will be able to give him a befitting burial. So yeah. as it stands, as it stands now, uh, it's not going to be a state burial for him? No, we've not received anything from the office of the president. And, okay. um, I can't say that for now. Oh, okay. But between now, and the very day, if it comes from the office of the president that he would want to do that for him, the family will be able to grant him that. But request. is it the wish of the family that it happens like that? Oh, if it happens like that, fine. I think he deserves it. I believe that my dad had served the nation and beyond. So if the presidency would want to honor him in that manner, we would we would accept that from july 13 till this month how has it been for the family i mean after he he left us uh, uh, there's a big vacuum a big vacuum in the family we've lost a personality we've lost a legend and um it has never been easy it has never been easy but um with god on our side we are comforted we are comforted, we are trusting God that um, between now and the end of the celebration, um, the name of the Lord will be glorified. Yeah. Before coming to meet you, I went to meet mommy. Uh, it looks like she is still mourning, but I'm not sure say, it is like when it happened on July 13. Mm -hmm. How did she take it on July 13 when the news was broken to her? Wow! <laughs> uh, it, it, it was serious. It was serious. Uh, because of the way the news came up, you know, we were troubled because dad and mom are the best friends you can ever think of, okay? And I quickly had to arrange for my wife and few friends to go to the house and ensure that the all gadgets are off, like the television and the radio, everything is off, so she could not get a shock at home. Okay, so, and people rushed the house, and then they were able to control the crowd. They were able to control the crowd until I came back for the confirmation because we had not been... Um, officially informed. Exactly, officially, by the physician. So we were like, hold on let go see and then come and confirm it. So they were waiting, they were waiting until we saw it. We even asked them to wait till we come back. So we had to speak to the pastors. I mean, their pastor, he fellowship at Bethel Methodist Church. So I called him and I called my bishop, Samuel Kofi Okoje, and uh, Bishop Clive Moult, some few bishops and some few elders and dignesses to come and talk to mom. And uh, they all came. By the time I got there, they were already there. So we all entered together with their pastor. So um, they had some few discussions and then they broke the news. He, she wept. It was, it was terrible, but um, the Lord has comforted her. The Lord has comforted her. She's, she's good now. And, it's not easy. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. Even we, the kids, we, 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 can't, we can't believe it. But um, if you have the Lord on your side, issues like this, um, he's the only person that can comfort you. Men will come around, but when they come, they will go. When you're alone, 
That's where uh, um, you receive inner peace and comfort from Elohim himself. So we are comforted. I'm here with Amy Crenzo Jr., the fourth child of the late Ebi Crenzo, the high life legend. I'll be back after break. Eba, Ebi Di Eye Noho El Komo, Maria Zahe Felix. Hello, Minyanum, and a part in Besemino Mokasa. So you'll be a wash me, and I'll be seeing me. Na why do you say business na you know any legitimate business sir you are just wasting time there is no way saying like any legitimate then go for be brave baby you woman I saw this somebody's ad last year and I'm in real may you ready to know more about the business be signing up and I just need your information I did my due diligence when I found I was legitimate I jumped on board oh my yema yeni na ho ni enti bibi because a human is so hard and it's not going to help us. Our body is going to be weak than it's supposed to be weak. Ain't no me pound show. Reach out to me on my phone number. So I'll give you more details and then I will help you set this business up. I'm a business coach. I am also a professional nurse. So I understand how it is working in a, in a board or working in the health field. Reach out to me and I'll help you set this business up. Nicole Richie Bessie. Bye. My bye back. A very big thanks to you for still watching me. I'm Abu Kento Junior, and it's here. Yeah, Kasa, I'm doing a good show. I'm Zain Felix. I call Instagram I'm Zain Felix. dot com, Twitter, Unyana score Zain Felix, Facebook Zain Felix. In the ten minutes. Now let's let 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 let's come to a funeral. Um, when is the funeral? Because I say, that's it. Oh, oh, I, I, I cut two weeks. So yeah, first week in November. Okay. On the fourth, fifth, and sixth. Fourth, fifth, and sixth. Sixth, yes. Oh, okay. November at um, Community 8, number 2, JSS School Park. Okay. Tema. Okay. Right here. Okay. Uh, behind us. Um, fourth. Fourth, fifth, and sixth. And uh, fourth is Friday. Okay, Friday, 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 Sunday. Yes. yes. Okay. Friday, there will be a vigil night okay. uh, where people, musicians will come around and all that. Sympathizers will come around. Family members will come around. Okay. And then the Saturday will be the, the funeral service. Okay. And then, um, you know, it continues. Um, right after the service, the funeral continues. And then the Sunday, mm -hmm. which is on the 6th, Sixth, November, yeah, yeah um, we'll have his Thanksgiving service at Bethel Methodist Church. Wait, wait. Community 8. Okay. Yeah, it's close to the school park. Okay. Very close. Okay. Yes. So, okay. so 4th, 5th, and 6th. 6th November. Okay. I was 4th, 5th, and 6th November, and our AB Crinto. Now you know, final funeral right, a bit of course. So, 4th is a Friday, 5th is a Saturday, and I see no Thanksgiving service uh, Sunday. A bit of a course, so into no, you know, yeah, dear, and a free move in a in Shia 4th, 5th, and 6th here at Tema. Na yen 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 jam abusa for name, na yen moa and cry, the chick crack, 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 crack. Almost everybody will be here. So, uh, but have you? Since I mean, we were talking about, I mean, some of the young guys, have you invited any of them to this funeral? Oh, yes. Yes, we, we've we contacted um, um, Kofi Kenata. Okay. Yes. And then um, Kwame Yuji. Okay. Um, and then... Um, I think he... He uh, ended like last year. To, yes. I was yes. there. At, yes. um, oh, you were there? That's I was there. Um, that's around TV3 area. Yeah. Uh, that's plus, right. two, plus 233, three, yeah. Yes. Plus yes. 233, yeah. yeah. So he'll be coming, I'm sure, this time around. Um, we'll see more of the young musicians. Oh, okay. uh, we trust in God. Okay. So it's all over. And then uh, the acting president for uh, Musica, for Musica Bessa Simons, he, okay. he's trying to put them together to come. Okay. Yeah. And how far with preparations towards the fourth, fifth, and sixth? Ooh, we trust in God. We trust in God. Few things are in place. We are still believing God that we would have um, people to come help. Because it's a nation, nation funeral. Dad is a legend, as we all know. Yeah. So we trust that we'll have helpers. People will come and help the family to give our father, our brother, you know, our grandpa a befitting burial. Okay. Yeah, was a funeral yesterday. Yeah, that's right. A little bit away from, I mean, that is a funeral. What's the what will is in your single? Was it oh. before he passed out? Oh, open for me, Kampo, launch and I say the title of the song. Oh, Nyamia Ye. Oh, okay. Nyamia, it's a praise song. Oh, okay. It's a praise song, Nyamia Ye. And then uh, it has to do with what I've been through, okay. you know. And he did so well. Each and every time he would call for the song, he would just make an input and listen to the sound. And 
you know, at a point, I realized that he was excited that his son has finally, you know, come out with the song. Okay. So he played. He played a major role in it. And did you record any, any single with him before he passed on? That was about to, you know, we were about to, you know, do that. In fact, there were a few songs that he promised, I mean, recording with me, you know, okay. but it's unfortunate. Okay. It's unfortunate. So are you going to do it like a refix of some of his old songs? Oh, yes. Um, we will ensure that we will try and um, organize, if not yearly, maybe every two years, we'll try and put something up in memory of our father. Yes. And his songs will be played. We'll have people come do his songs. We're just trusting God that the name may be Crental, will not wipe away. Before he passed on, now I said him to say. Oh, he was, he was okay. He was very comfortable. And the very last encounter was my birthday, my 50th birthday. Mm. He was there with us. He was just fine. He was just fine with all his children. And in fact, the wife were so much into him. I mean, they were, they were, they were, we had a strong bond that I can't say the day and the time that we will forget. We will for, he cannot be forgotten, okay. honestly. But he was so fine. He was just well, very well. He That's was fair. very well in fit. Give us a cappella of your single and we we'll finish it with an, any of your favorite songs of him. Oh, <laughs> okay. It goes like this. Adera die, kada mi jina ka. Odo su do do mi tu mi kenye. Adera die ya mi jina ka. Odo su do do mi tu mi kenye. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, mamo. Oh yeah, mami da mi tu mi kenye. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's a nice song. Amen. That's a Thanksgiving Amen. song. I, mean, yes, I exactly. love Thanksgiving song because Charles, I see you fast them almost yeah. all the time. Yeah. And give us your favorite song of Daddy. Oh, nice one. We will be very similar to the sun and unto a Nissan and the Nina go from one surround and two. Then you know, or the Nina me as you soon soon. Then you know, or the Nina me as you. Soon, soon, tia fui. Then you na oda ni nyami asi you. I miss him already. I miss him already. Your already. final words, so that we take a leave of you. Oh, um, my final. I would want to um, tell the public, sympathizers, everyone should come around on that day, on the fourth, fifth, and sixth November. Um, that's the day that we are. Um, having his, his funeral, his final funeral, right? And we ask that, come help, come, come support, and let's give our legend, the superstar, A.B. Krenzel. Come and let's have a celebration that a gift that God gave 79 years ago, that is last days that we really have to see him off. So please, Come around and come again. Tell somebody and let somebody tell somebody and let somebody tell another person to come around. Thank Bless you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for also watching. My name is Obamiyashia, 4th, 5th and 6th November here at Tema. My name is Zion Felix, A.B. Krento Jr., the fourth child of the late A.B. Krento and I'm in the Kasai at Temaro. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. At Diaspora Insurance, we understand the importance of dignified send-offs within Ghanaian culture and traditions. We also understand that you want to avoid the double trauma of your family grieving and not having the financial support to cover funeral expenses when you are not around. With our Diaspora Funeral Cash Plan, you can now cover yourself or your family in Ghana or abroad. With no medicals required, we'll accept you if you are under 75 years. Visit our website today or call us to complete a simple form in under five minutes. With Diaspora Insurance, your peace of mind is guaranteed.